Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to debadge the back of my Alfa Romeo Giulietta. These Alfa badges are notorious for fading and delaminating in the sunlight. As you can see here I have some white spots and if you, well, you can't feel it but there, you can feel it's all bubbling up. Now these probably are the original badges. I've already taken the front one off when I uh, when I built my grill, so um, I, that's now. And I want to take this one off because I'm not really a fan of the chrome grill, and I want to machine polish this whole boot lid, and this will just get in the way. So I'm going to take this off. Uh, whether I put it back on or not, I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. See what it looks like without. So that's what we're going to do today. Now there's a load of videos on uh, on, the, on YouTube showing you how to do this, but I can't find one for the Giulietta specifically for this because this is a, a button. This actually opens the boot. So what we're going to do is just take off the skin and replace it with some new badges. So uh, I bought a selection of badges from AliExpress. Um, they're 74 millimeters. I uh, bought different colours. I bought a red and chrome, a black and chrome, and <clears throat> the new design of the Alpha badge. So uh, we'll, sit, we'll have a look and see which one I'm going to use. But before you put a badge on, um, because they're cheap, it's best to uh, spray a couple of coats of clear lacquer over the top and that will give them protection from the sun and the elements. So I've already done that on the badges I've chosen which will uh, I'll show you in a bit. But first, let's get this badge off. Now. To get this badge off, I'm going to use two things. One, I'm going to use a heat gun on a low heat. So this will just soften the adhesive on the back of the uh, badge. And then we'll hopefully be able to pull it off. And to pull it off without causing any damage. So I'm using this fishing line. You can, of course, use dental floss. But I don't have any to hand in the garage. So I'm going to use this. And we'll just leave, once we soften the adhesive up behind here we're just going to uh, using a sawing action to bring the vision line all the way along the badge and that will just release it from the car hopefully without any damage so let's have a go see if we can get this off so I'm just going to put the heat gun on a low heat and just heat up Take our fishing line. I'm just going to wrap it around my finger. I'll try and put my finger. Uh, come on. In the problem with fishing line, it's very slippery. There you go. It's just a bit there somewhere. Juliet a badge off undamaged. So what we have now left is just the adhesive. Now there's a couple of ways to get this off. Uh, you can use your fingernails like that. But that's pretty painstaking. Uh, you can buy a toffee wheel. So it's just a toffee wheel you put on the drill and that will take all this off. But again you have to be very very careful not to mark the paint. And I don't have one. 
I have some tar and glue remover which I'm going to try and use, I think. Let's do that. That's the majority of it off. It's not hot at all, very low setting. So what I'm going to use now is a tar and glue remover from Auto Bright Direct. Just a tonic. So I'm just going to soak this and let it do its work. I'm not too worried about this. As I said, I'm going to machine polish it anyway. So it's just a uh, just to help to get all the adhesive off and as you can see it comes off quite easy but um, as I say just give it a good soak in let it do its magic and I think this would be safer than um, you know using a toffee wheel because if uh, if you're like me, you haven't got one anyway, but um, you know, if you let keep that on for too long, you could damage the paint. As I say, we're trying to do this without damaging the paint, although a few little marks are not too bad because we're going to correct it anyway. So, so just keep doing this, working it in, and you can see it's just just all coming off that. Yeah. All off, no damage. As I say, I'll be polishing it anyway, so just give this a bit of a clean. Now you see, totally gone. Right, so the next thing to do, I'm going to uh, machine polish this because it needs a bit of a cut and a good polish. So that's my stitch. So, meanwhile, let's see if we can get this badge off as well. screwdriver pain. Oh, I'm going to see if I can get my, no, I'm going to my wire, I'm going to my wire. Oops, there it is.
Right, I've finally got some purchase on it. As you can see, it's really stuck on here. So I put some heat on this side, and once you once you get the screwdriver under it, be very very careful. Put a bit of tape on there so you don't mark the prone bit on the outside. Um, and then even now, you can see how stuck it is in the middle. See. In fact, you can see. You can see the tape under that. There you go. I'm just gonna. Oh, there you go. So there you go. It's off, and it didn't leave any adhesive behind. So there you go. We we'll give that a clean up. And that's the button. So we we'll just give us a. Uh, Give it a clean and then we can put the new ones back on. These are the new ones I've chosen. So they are red and chrome to match the car. And they're just drying there after a couple of coats of clear lacquer. So we'll let them dry and then tomorrow we'll put them back on the car. And here's the finished result. So as you, as you can see there is no marks at all where the old badge was. And there's the new badge I've installed. Just peel off the backing tape and stick it on, line it up, stick it on. Job's a good one. Nice and shiny now. So. There we go.